It's the 150th anniversary of Arundel Cathedral this year. Sussex Festival Choir are preparing to host their annual event at the Cathedral. I'm joined now by Stephen Hope, who formed the choir back in 2003. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I, guess, I guess to start off with, then, can you share with us why the Festival Choir was formed in the first place? Of course. Um, this was formed about 20... This is actually our 20th anniversary. Um, and I formed it mainly to raise funds for the much-needed uh, financial backing for hospices. And uh, there were various choirs I worked with whose um, uh, activity dwindled somewhat in the summer. So mm -hmm. I had the idea of, put it, of putting this together and getting people from various sources to come together to put on these, these large-scale concerts at the cathedral. Um, and I... I, I press ganged and twisted arms of friends and colleagues, some of whom are ex friends and colleagues now, <laughs> to, come, to, to, to come along and play and give their services. And I've had some incredibly distinguished uh, soloists like Dame Felicity Lodd, Dame Anne Murray, Dame Sarah Conley, and so Willard White have joined us uh, again, freely giving their time and talents to raise to raise money. And so far, we're well, we're approaching our next target, which is two hundred thousand pounds. Over, over the last 20 years. So. Wow. It, it's interesting, you know, Stephen, I'd, I'd love to get your take on this, actually, because over the, over the past few weeks we've been talking to a lot of choristers and, and choir and, and choral singing has come up a lot, actually, in, yeah. the last, in, in the last, I would say, maybe, ooh, maybe 10 to 12 months. Why mm -hmm. is that, do you think? It, it just seems to be growing and growing and growing now with lots more people wanting to get involved. There are, well, there are a lot of community choirs that have, have uh, emerged, um, uh, apart from, I think, partly because of lockdown and other things. Um, Gareth Murn on, on, on TV sort of encouraged these sort of community yes. groups to get together. And so those uh, are quite, uh, quite well established now and um, are very successful. Um, the choral society themselves have struggled a bit through COVID because um, the, the age range in, in the choral society is... is, is towards the more senior stage. Um, and uh, a lot of people um, are still scared of coming out. And, and mm. the, the average choral society has dwindled by about 20% um, through COVID. So um, it's been a, a re rebuilding process. But th th there is still enthusiasm and incredible um, energy and uh, commitment by choral singers to do and to perform and to sing. Um, it's therapeutic. Yeah. It's, it's very good for the soul and for the body. And it's an incredible um, institution that we have in this country, which is, is, is not uh, to be seen anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost, almost a sort of singing. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head there, doesn't it? You know, it is good for the mind, the body and the soul, but also for community and bringing people together and encouraging people yeah. to, 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 to have a place to go, which is, which is what we all need these days. It's absolutely right. I mean, it's, sometimes it's, it's their highlight for the yeah. week to come and sing. And uh, it doesn't matter if, if they don't contribute a huge amount. The fact is that they're there and it's the pastoral side, the community side, which is very important. And uh, I, I, I firmly encourage that. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's very humbling to see. Yeah. And, and as well as the annual concert in Arundel Cathedral, you also, for, you also do workshops as well, don't you? I do workshops. Um, I do mad things like sing on the streets on my own at Christmas, uh, singing carols, um, much to the annoyance and frustration of my family. Um, uh, but this is something which I've, 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 I've rather driven to do. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I love doing it. it, it it's a passion of mine, and uh, it, it, it's a much-needed uh, thing to do because the, the hospices are not... Um, very much uh, supported by the government, so a lot of their well, majority of their income is, is from donations. So it's yeah. my pleasure and, and privilege to be able to, to help in a small way. Yeah, and never apologise, Stephen, for, for for anybody that anybody that's got a passion that makes a difference to people's lives should never apologise for it. I, I say this every, every time. I have no shame in asking for <laughs> company, and I, I shall be doing that tonight at Arundel Cathedral. <laughs> Even even after the concert, I shall have a bucket. <laughs> you just constantly have a bucket t attached to your I hip. Have a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, alongside um, you know bringing people together, you know bringing the choirs together in this setting as well in Arundel Cathedral must be quite magical. It is. It's a beautiful city. 
Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a lovely day out. I mean, the weather looks as if it might clear up a little bit this afternoon. We normally have pretty good weather. The cathedral itself is a spectacular building. It is a huge acoustic. It's, I call it the largest bathroom in Europe. I mean, it really is hard work in there, but uh, we're made very welcome. People appreciate that it's not the ideal concert hall, but they get a wonderful experience, and we're all there to do the same thing, and that's to have a good time and to raise money and people um, just, just muck in. And it's, it's become a part of the calendar for a lot of my friends and colleagues, and uh, long may it continue. Yeah, absolutely. So if anybody wants to go along and, 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 and be drawn to your, um, to your singing uh, and, your, and your bucket, shall we say, uh, what, 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 time, what time do they have to be there? That's an incredible image. Um, uh, let me tell you, that the concert starts at 7.15. Um, it's unreserved seats. The, the tickets are £24 uh, for, for the regular price, £22 for concessions. Um, and uh, available on the door. Uh, I have a card machine, which hopefully, if the uh, internet's working, will uh, allow card uh, sales, but cash is, is probably a good idea as a backup. Um, and we're there, well, things are open from, from, from 2 o'clock, but we shall be sort of selling tickets and things for about 6.15. So all are welcome. Okay, yeah, that's brilliant. I can't say any more than that, uh, Stephen. Uh, they, that image is embedded in me. Um, but listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it'll be wonderful even just to go along and just listen. It's just going to be a wonderful sound as well. Uh, so it great is. to talk to you. Yep. Good luck for tonight. And uh, I'll look out for you uh, round about Christmas time as well when I'm shopping. Indeed. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> All, All the best, best. Stephen. Bye. Take care. Uh, it's the 150th anniversary of Arundel Cathedral this year and the Sussex Festival Choir. They're preparing to host their annual event at the cathedral. It starts about 7.30 tonight. Uh, so if you're looking for somewhere to do, it's going to be wonderful. I mean, like Stephen was mentioning there, the acoustics there are going to be absolutely phenomenal. F- phenomenal. And what a lovely setting that that is going to be in as well. Uh, time for some more music now. Jennifer Hudson and Spotlight. <laughs> 